data cell flight, this versus last year dashboards. We're looking right now at the customer from a sales standpoint. We see the list of customers. They're currently sorted in a descending order by this year sales. We can see the blue bars for this year's sales in the totals for this year. We can also see with the orange bars how each of these customers were doing in last year. And this section shows the variance from last year to this year being red decline in black growth since last year. This chart shows trend analysis. The top 20 products by sales for all of my customers. The big numbers show the totals. So total this year, total last year, the variance since last year, and I'm growing about 13% since last year. Currently, I'm looking through period eight. I'm gonna compare for the full year. I can choose all the periods that, that I want to, press apply, and now do the comparison from that perspective. What if I want to sort my customers by ascending order based on this year's sales? I put the mouse over the sort icon, click once. Now it shows sales in an ascending order. If I click again on this icon, it will sort customers on an alphabetical order. If I click again, it will show again descending by sales this year. I can do the same analysis by last year. So if I click the first time on this icon, now is sorted by the orange bars, which are sales last year. What if I want to sort by the variance? Same thing, if I click once, now this is showing my customers with the biggest sales growth since last year. If I click again, now I see the biggest decline since last year. What if I want to see the top products affecting the biggest decline in my customers? I can choose the customers here. And these are the products affecting the most that decline. And right now I'm seeing for these customers the total in the year, the total last year, and the variance in how the trend analysis is going. What if I want to see this dashboard by gross profit instead of sales? Come to measure, select gross profit. In this example, I barely making any profit from last year to date. If I click on any of these data points, I can also have this pop up to click transaction details. It will show at the bottom all transaction details of the data points selected, including customer, invoice number, and everything else. In these underlined lines, if I click on them, I can actually open the customer, the document, or the product pages in Acumatica. And the Geo tab provides extensive ways to analyze information from a geography standpoint. With the out-of-the-box solution, the geography is connected to the customer location address. However, it's easy to remap to show by ship to or any other address, let's analyze sales only in the continental area of the USA. So I'm going to select Canada, UK, and Alaska. And now I'm going to exclude those three areas. So now I'm focusing only on the continental area of the USA. I can also interact on the map, let's say choosing the lasso, and how am I doing on the East Coast? There it is. And where am I shipping my top products? I just select the top products. And those are the states that I'm shipping them right now. Please be sure to watch the other data cell flight videos. Thanks for watching.